Welcome back to another Acuity Scheduling Booking System Guide. So in today's video, we're going to look at how you can amend your appointment types, your services, add new appointments, add add-ons to those particular services and explore um, changing the services up if you ever needed to. So when you log into your Acuity Scheduling, it's going to look a little bit like this on your homepage. So this is just the example, one that I use for um, the pure purpose of these video guides. On the left hand side, you need to scroll down and you'll see a section saying appointment types. You just click on that and it will come up with all of your service and appointments. If we have, um, if you have worked with me previously, I would have set this all up for you. Um, if you're starting from scratch, it will obviously, obviously show as blank. So I've got an example um, service here. So we're using um, facial through as an example, um, but there's multiple options of what you can do. So for example, you can add a new service. You can edit the current services you have by clicking edit and you can duplicate them and amend them from there if you wanted to. But we're going to create a new service to add into these um, list of services. So we're going to add um, an express facial, for example. So you click up here, new type of service. And it's going to add a new um, opening up of a, um, a se separate section where you can add your new service. So in here, we're going to do facial express facial. In the description, so you can add a description if you want to, just a little bit explaining the facial. So this facial is a full, a full steam and extraction, for example, with mask. So you can add a description just of obviously of what's included in the service. You've got little tips here that um, give you anything that you need help with. So. Once you've added your name, your description, there's the duration. So how long is the appointment for? So this is an express facial. So this is a little bit um, quicker. This is a 20 minute facial we're going to do it for. I don't know anything about facials, so please um, do not um, take my word for this of this information I'm providing. This is just solely an example of how you can go about editing um, your services. And then here it says block off extra time before or after. So what you need to do is click on this. So if you want time before or between each appointment you'll notice in your current services if you have services already that you're amending that you might have something here or something there so what i always do is i always like to put 10 minutes before or after just so that of course you have 10 minutes in between each appointment so if you put 10 minutes before the appointment what this does is for every appointment or service that you have if you add this number it will give you 10 minutes before that booking starts to prep have your um your tools ready um prep for your new client to come in so it gives you perfect amount of time to then prep so that you're not rushing around while they're waiting for you in the waiting room or while they're in the beauty chair for example so you can add and change this to as many times as you want. If you want 30 minutes before, um, you can do it either before or after. I just always choose to do it before. It's just a lot easier. In the price section, obviously, is the price of the treatment. You enter the price of what the price is. You can add a picture if you want to. Um, sometimes some people choose not to. Um, I recommend to add a picture if you're doing a specific service such as lashes and um, just to show what type of lashes they are such as Russian and um, classics volume and um, it gives an insight to the client or the customer what they are booking for and then you've got access here so clients can book on your scheduling page or you can make it private but we're going to make it just public once you're done you click create appointment type and as you can see, this has added my express facial. Now, just say I wanted to go into that because I wanted it a different color. So as you can see, they're both purple at the moment. So I wanted it a different color. So when it appears on my calendar, I can identify what it is. Just go back to it and click edit. If I scroll down, now the color bits appear. So these colors bits appear and the categories appear once you have created more than two services. So I want to make this particular express facial a pink color. And we're going to create a new category and we're going to call it facials. And then we're going to click update appointment type. And as you can see, it's now got a category with facials and my new facial appointment is there. We're going to do the exact same and go in and edit the other facial treatment we have. Click on the category and we're going to identify this as an orange color for just the standard facial. And as you can see, that updates itself 
has the information on this. So anytime you need to edit this, you can go in and edit this. Up here, you have new type of group or class. So you can go ahead and um, create a group or a class to where if it's a group event. So this is if your booking system, for example, is like a dance class, has to book people in, max number of people that can get booked in. Um, this is the only difference in this um, section. The rest of the top bit is the same pretty much of what I demonstrated before. Just the bottom bit is slightly different in regards to if you have a class or not. So if we click back, now we want to see how we can add some add-ons. So just say, for example, one of my clients wants to get booked in for a facial, but she wants to add on an extra, um, for example, a mask to her treatment because um, for the facial, a mask is included, for example, if that wasn't included. So we click here on the left to add-ons and then we click create add-on. Now what this does is we can then Add all the information so first you put the name so we'll put a um, mask additional price for the mask we'll put five pounds for example additional duration so how long it will take during that sort of time for the mask application sort of when it dries and peeling it off so we'll put 10 minutes access is client and admin so admin only can book this manually but you want to put it as client and admin and then you want to select what services that add-on can be available for so we're just going to put just the facial and then we're going to click create and then as you can see that's created our new add-on for that particular appointment now you can go back onto that if you wanted to and have it to all of your treatments and then click save and what that does that allows you to then add add-ons and you can do this for as many treatments as you like so for example if you wanted to create um, a different type of mask so what we can do is duplicate this and then name it as a jelly mask for example and this will be an additional price of £10. This will be for 15 minutes and it's available for all services. So if you click save again, as you can see, it's available for all appointment types. So when a client does go to book in an appointment, these options will then appear before they go into their consultation page or their payment page. And then they can then add any add ons that are relevant to them or what they would want for their treatment. So these are pretty much the basics of your adding your appointment types amending your appointments um, if you wanted to duplicate them you can if you wanted to send a direct link you can also send a direct link for that specific treatment to a specific client if you wanted to but that is pretty much the basics of your appointment types it's pretty straightforward and um, the add-ons on the left you have the coupon section here which i have got in a separate video in my youtube page so if you have a look there will be a video on coupons but if you have any questions please leave a question in the comments and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible please like share and subscribe if you want to watch any more video guides and i will be uploading plenty more video guides to help you with the acuity booking system and other systems available